That's Will and Chloe. Looks like they're both all right. Fennel, come here. Why are we hiding? Shh, quiet! So that's Will Renard. It's really him. Who's that woman with him? Is that his lover? Somehow I doubt that. You never know. My mom always used to say, a man and a woman don't need a reason. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I have something to do. Bye-bye. Seno, what are you doing here? A man and a woman don't need a reason. Yeah, that may be true. What? There was this girl who was thinking you might be Will's lover. <sighs> you didn't have to hit me that hard. Shut up. You're certain you encountered Vaklov? Absolutely. His soldiers called him by name. So Vaklov was behind the attack on the bandit's lair. I should have realized it when I saw all those red soldiers. Many of those soldiers are part of a special force that carries out secret operations. I'm not surprised you didn't recognize them. Well, I'm surprised you did. Vaklov Bolod, third prince of the Kruzand Empire, a militaristic country in the southern part of the mainland. Over the past few years, Kruzand has been steadily increasing its power by going to war with other nations. It seems Vaklov has been leading an independent division of troops from battlefield to battlefield across the land. Vaklov's confidants are his three executive officers, otherwise known as the Terrors. Right. Melanie the Crimson specializes in fire heiress, just as her name implies. Cashel the Phantom is famous for his deceptive illusions in battle. And Stingle the Vicious is a master of the sword. People say that he wears a mask at all times. While Melanie and Cashel are veterans, I've heard that Stingle is a relative newcomer. Perhaps he has some reason for choosing to hide his identity. Damn you, Vaklov! What are you scheming? Why did you abandon the front line and come to the Legacy? What's the matter, Chloe? You can hardly blame her. The Holy Kingdom of Ghidoria, her home country, is at war with Crusade at this very moment. How did you know I'm from Ghidoria? I never told you that. The Valens are a famous family of knights in Ghidoria. I've at least heard of them. I see. So the Valen's name is known far and wide. Reynard, we can't just sit here while Vaklov runs free on the legacy. Yes. We cannot let this go, even if it means taking on an entire country's army. First, we need information. We have to discover Vaklov's whereabouts and motives. Precisely. That's why I've contacted Jay the Unseen. Jay? The Jay? He's famous for having more information than anyone on the Legacy. We should be receiving an answer soon. I'm going to check into it now. Would you accompany me? Of course. I'll go too. No, you won't. Why not? You even have to ask? How should I know? Do you think we can trust you to travel with us after you just ran off on your own like that? I had my reasons. And besides, I told you, we were only going to be together until we got Shirley back. Yeah, and then after charging off alone, you wound up losing her. Now, after all that, you come crying back for our help. You expect us to just say okay? I didn't come crying back for help. Then good luck working alone. Chloe and I will continue. Don't worry. 
If we rescue Shirley first, we'll be sure to contact you. Let's go, Chloe. I appreciate your help. Wait! Despicable. Your mind. You can grate better than that. Come on, get mad. I guess teach and see must have come down on you pretty hard, huh? Well, fear not, Senny. Norma's on your side. You're going to rescue Cheryl, right? I'll be right there along with you. You're not going to criticize me like the others did? Of course not. I trust you. You're a terrible liar. Well, I guess there's no point in keeping that up. I don't necessarily agree with what you did, but I've got my own priorities. What do you want? Cheryl's brooch. That's not a jewel, you know. You wouldn't be able to get any money for it. No, dummy, it's not about the money. I want the stone in the brooch. That stone looks like something I've been searching for forever. The Everlight. That's not what it was called, though. It was the something tear. I'll tell you what. How about you get me that stone in exchange for me helping you rescue Shirley? That's a tough choice. Oh, come on now. Don't you think her life is a lot, lot, lot more important? Well, I can't guarantee anything, but I can at least talk to her. All right, fair enough. That'll work for now. All right. So what do we do now? Did you hear anything from Teach and See? He said something about having contacted Jay the Unseen. Seriously? Wow! Is this Jay guy really that special? Special isn't the word. They say he knows more than anyone about what's going on around the legacy. But he's really cautious. Apparently like nobody's ever met him in person. Then how do you get information from him? You send him a letter in a certain way, and an answer comes back with the information you requested. What a pain. All right, let's go follow Teach. Then we can find out what those guys know. That's your plan? Hey, no complaining. Now let's head for the Fountain Plaza. Why the plaza? The rumors say that's the place where Jay's answers come. It's a long story. Well, maybe not, but I still don't want to talk about it. Hmm. I don't know what happened, but you should forgive him. Such an offense cannot be so easily forgiven. Right, Isabella? Yes, Curtis. Come on, have a heart. Think about Senny's situation. 
He needs to go and save his beloved sister. They don't care about something like that. What? You're doing this for love? Tell us your story, brother. Wait, you do care? <laughs> I see. We understand completely. We'll do whatever we can to help. Won't we, Isabella? Yes, Curtis. You just say the word, brother. Why is he calling me brother? If you say sing, we shall sing as we have never sung before. Uh, thanks, but I'll pass. So now we're looking for Teach. You know, Will. Did he come this way? Did he come this way, Isabella? I saw him with Miss Valens. They were headed for Port on Rage. Port on Rage, huh? All right, Senny, we've got our next destination. To get there, head toward 4 o'clock once you exit the city. Brother, when you bring back your sister, I will grant you a special present. Let that rouse you to success. Like, what kind of present? A place as an official member of the Bantam Bouncers! Who the hell would want that? My name is Fenimore. My true name is Celes. Celes. That means blessing. Yes, though in my current situation, I'm not really in much of a blessing mood. What's your name? Shirley. My true name is Fenis. Shirley Fenis. One who prays. That's an amazing true name. Was it the village chief who gave it to you? Yes. They must have had great hopes for your future. Maybe. It's been a long time since I talked with someone like this. The villagers they brought with me were all killed. That's horrible. Why were they killed? You even have to ask? Because we're fairness, and they're a rareness. That's... Do you have any family, Shirley? I have an older sister, but now she's... It's okay. You don't have to talk about it. I imagine it's the same as what happened to our village. I have a twin sister myself. She was away from the village when it was attacked, so I think she was probably spared. Shirley? Have you heard the rumor about the Marinus being born in one of the villages? It would be great if it's true. The Marinus would surely save us from this situation and take care of those horrible Aurora. Fenimore? Fenimore, why did you stop? 